Hey guys, it is me, Lightning here, back with another Finance of Freddy's Funko Plus review. And today, we're going to be reviewing both of the brand new Hot Topic exclusive Finance of Freddy's Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Cheek, I mean, Nightmare Freddy, and Nightmare Bonnie plushies. And yes, this is my first video. I think it'll be fully recorded in 60 frames and 40k. I mean, 4k, not 40k, 4k. And sorry for my bird screaming in the background. She likes doing that. What the bird doing, we don't know. But anywho, let's go jump into the thing without me yabbing and talking. Let's go to Bonnie because I, I really like Bonnie's design a lot more. Anywho, before we actually go and hop in well, while, while I'm opening it, because I, I know you guys hate it when I talk so much. But this plushie did retail for around $18 and it's only at Hot Topic. We know Hot Topic always does expensive overpriced plushies. Like no matter what they are, like if it's small ones or anything like that, the regular sitting plushies are always going to be expensive for some reason because that's just Hot Topic. And I, I do have a FNAF regular plushie to compare with this one because this is a lot bigger than you would actually think so this is the actual plushie i gotta go a little back for this man okay gotta focus on it thank you for that camera but as you guys can actually see here the had the little tag here and it says here a well, hot topic exclusive i guess we're gonna go and uh, zoom into the tag there and usually 4k does autofocus why is it not autofocusing and you see hot topic exclusive with the original five freddy's tag and this is one of the new plushies to include all the three new tags as you guys can see here it has three yeah three tags for some oh hit the camera for some reason but yeah it has three tags don't know why also birds still screaming but as you guys can see here it has a uh, did both the little dangly arms and now i'm gonna go and compare it to this plushie only at walmart exclusive as you guys can see here they're usually sitting and their legs and arms are usually always stiff but when it comes to this plushie it has dangly arms it's just sitting out dangly and my sister said it looks like a cat plush if you know what that isn't you know also it's a lot more soft and movable unlike the original other fnaf plushies and also, these have beans in the rest in their foot. As you guys hear this, hear that? They have beans in both for their feet, meaning it's a lot easier for them to stand up. So if you lean them against somewhere, they're gonna stand without no problem. So even though you remove the sitting ability, they can still stand without. Well, they still need some back support, but that is still pretty cool. Also it has this bow tie here too. And also, you guys can see here some printing on the chest with some of the metallic fabric here. I don't know. I think they used that before for like the. Was called again the Phantom Foxy plush, but they use it now only for the inside stomach and also for the entire teeth. As you actually see, it's really reflective, but it's also still soft and not like that weird plastic material they used for the original Nightmares. So it is pretty cool. And as you actually see here, it has embroidered eyes, one hard nose, and also the whole bunny ears, but it's just printed, no embroidery, sadly. Just printing here. But, anyways, this plush, I know it's a brand new form of plush. These are standing up, but just to put in comparison of how big they actually are, this is literally a regular Funko plushie. The regular, um, you know, plushie you usually get for like 10 to 11 bucks, but if you're going to a topic, it's probably going to cost you 18, literally the exact same price. And look at the plushies. Look at the side difference. They're both literally just standing up. You guys can see here, the plushie just sitting here, and my bird is panicking. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is, as you guys can see here, the plushie is just sitting there. And also on top here, we have here the plushie literally just chilling there. I don't know why they made these so tall and also, like, pretty detailed, I think. But I really do like them. Definitely do think it's okay. But that's really it for Bonnie. Yes, it does look a little kiddie-ish, and they kind of, like, remove the whole, uh, I guess, nightmare feel, feel of it. Like, it doesn't look like a scary Nightmare plushie, even though the original one never was. But it kind of does look like Nightmare Bonnie. But let's go and actually look at the um, next one, being Nightmare Freddy here. He retails for the same price. You get them on Hot Topic online or in stores. Uh, my Hot Topic in store is too far away, so I just got it online shipping. But the same thing goes with Bonnie. This one literally just has a little bit more detail. I mean, a little bit more... I guess detail, I guess, I don't know what to really call it. The same only Hot, hot, hot Topic tag with also three, three tags for some reason. And also, as you guys can see, the same dangly arms, but this time has metallic fabric on the bottom of his hand, like referring to like his silver hand. Don't know why they didn't do that for Bonnie, but I think it's because his endo show and Bonnie doesn't, but I think they all do for the Nightmares. They even use the same thing for the feet here too, which is, I guess, confusing why they didn't do that for the other ones. But also he has the same whole little open up stomach like the original Nightmare Freddy plush, sitting plush. And also, bow tie and everything like that. He has the same nightmarish teeth like but Nightmare Bonnie does with the whole embroidery on the eyes. The eyes look the exact same. He has a little bit of a silver here for his eyebrows, making him look a little bit more angrier. And also, his eyes both have, like, literally printing, even for a little bit of endo showing. And also, the whole ear, it's all just printing with nothing inside of it to really keep it in place. But, you know, just don't bend it. Bend it. You don't really want to ruin it. Also, has the same top hat that all the FNAF plushies usually use. And also the same hard nose but anyways both of these really do stand at the same height as you guys can see here 
They both stand for the same height. They both could literally actually stand if you want to lean them together. They both could stand, but they have to be leaning on something either way. But as you guys can see there, the, the touching nose is, is, is not what you think. <laughs> but anywho, these plushies are pretty cool. And I guess it's Funko's way of experimenting with new plushies. Because we all know this is Hot Topic exclusive plushies. And you know Hot Topic usually never restocks once they do their first restock. And it's really hard to get Hot Topic exclusive plushies. They use always a rare one because Funko always like does little with it. So that's why I do think they made these Hot Topic exclusives to test them out. To test out if people like the standing up plushies or if they like the sitting plushies. I personally like both of them and I would not mind them making a whole bunch of more of these but as different character designs and maybe fix some of, the, of some of its flaws. But I do not mind this design choice. Instead of just re-releasing these dudes like making a new re-release of Bonnie, they made a different design choice which I do like. You guys are tell me in the comments below what do you guys actually do think about both of these. I think they're okay plushies. I would definitely give them 8 out of 10, you know? I definitely give the sitting ones like a 9 out of 10. It just looks like the in-game character. These kind of look like a security breach style plushies, like an in-game security breach. So don't know if that's what they're going for. And also, these definitely give me some uh, U2's vibes, you know, those U2's plushies. I'm literally going to be reviewing them, like, in a couple of days, so stay tuned for the review. But they literally kind of look like them. Don't know if Funko's getting some inspiration here, if that's just the way they want to try to test them out. But I do hope they make both of these with this and also the original sitting plushes. Like, side to side, and just produce some here and there. I hope they do that. I hope they do not just go in, uh, I don't know, quit producing the sitting ones and just go and produce these. I hope they don't do that. I hope they produce them side to side and just release different characters. You know, maybe the characters actually fit this, you know, plush style. Don't know what, like, maybe the security breach ones. You just tell me guys in the comments below what you guys do think about them. And let's hope I'm the first one to actually go and review this. Anyways, guys, see you all in the next video. Goodbye.